example that uses nested loops. The program I will write will first prompt for a size. And the size could be any positive value. Then the program will output a square based on that size. So if, for example, four was entered, it will output a square of hashtags. And the square size will be four times four, where only the outer boundary um, or, or line, if you will, will be um, drawn. The inner, inner squares will just be empty spaces. Now let's take a closer look at this. I have the square here as well, and I essentially have rows and columns. The rows, I start at zero, so I have zero, one, two, three, four, and so on, depending how large the size is, and I have columns, also from zero, one, two, three, four, five, and so on. So this example here, the size will be six, right? Zero, one, two, which is three, size three, and then another three, three, four, five. So I need two loops for this. The first loop I will use is going for the rows. So it, it simply generates the values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this is the row. The next loop, and this is inside the loop, will be for each column inside a row. So when the outer loop, the row loop here is 0, I use another loop to generate 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then the outer loop will go to one, and I have the inner loop, zero, one, two, three, four, five. So the column loop is the inner loop. Now, before we start writing the loops, let's um, use the scanner object to prompt for an input. And here I prompt for a size Then I read in that size into an integer variable named size, and I validate the input. So if size is anything less than one, I output invalid. Please enter a valid size. And I make this just a print statement, not a print line and read in the size again. So at this point, I have a valid size. And now I want to go back drawing the square here. So I need the first loop that will output the rows. So I use a for loop. I know exactly how many iterations I want to perform. So I use a variable. I name it row, just to, to reflect to the drawing I have up here. I start with zero, and the row should be less than the size. Now, if I were to start at one, it would be less than or equal to the size. And at the end of each row, I increment the row by one. So this will simply generate the value zero, one, two, three, four, five, up until uh, size minus one. Now, for each row, I also want to gen generate the column and uh, numbers here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I use another loop. This is a nested loop. And I declare an integer in the initialization part here named column, and I initialize it to 0. The condition here is the same, since I want to have the square, uh, uh, draw out a square. So the, columns are, the number of columns should match the number of rows. And at the end, I increment the column. So let's do something before we continue. I just output here the column followed by a space. And at the end, when I'm done with the column here, I add a line break. So let's run this and see the output. So I, I use the initial example of size four. And here I get now a square. And the square is 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. Essentially, what I did is the outer loop um, did, did the counting here, 0, 1, 2, 3. 
and then the inner loop, this one here, right? When rho is zero, so I didn't output rho, that's why we don't see it, but when rho is zero, I use this loop. Um, so column is now zero, and it outputs um, this one, column zero and a space. Then it increments column by one. So one is still less than four, and then it outputs one in a space. And then it increments row to two. Then it outputs two in the space, then increments it by one, three. Three is less than four, so it outputs three in the space. And then it increments three by one, that is four. Four is not less than four, so this is false. It stops the nested loop, adds a line break. So it goes to the next line here. Then it increments row. So row is now one. One is then less than four. And now he starts a new loop. Column is back to zero. It outputs zero in the space. Increments column by one. Checks the condition and outputs one in the space. Then increments it to two. Two is less than four, so outputs two in the space. And so at the end of this loop, again, it adds a line break. Goes to the next line and then does the whole column loop again. Outputs it, adds a line. Now it is here. Row is now three. Three is less than four. So it does this one last time. It, it finishes the column loop, adds a line break. Increments row by one. Row is now four. Four is not less than four and then it stops. So this is kind of how we get the square um, and how the two nested loops work. Now, in this case, um, we don't want to output the column numbers. I want to output simply the hashtags. So I could do it very simple. If I want to have a filled out square of hashtags, I just output a square for each. If I run this, And in this case, let's enter four one more time. So we have now hashtag, right? For each column here that we generated, zero, one, two, three, it outputs a hashtag. And then the rows also went one, two, zero, one, two, and three. And if I enter something larger, it simply does both loops a little bit longer based on the size. So if I enter um, six, I get here a six times six square. Now, in this case, I didn't want to have it completely filled out. I just want to have the outer line here be hashtags. How can I accomplish this? Now, one way to do this is checking now the rows, right? I can see here when row is zero, that's when I want to output a, a hashtag. Or when row is four, I want to output a hashtag. In this case, I don't care what column is. Column can be zero, one, two, three, four. Any time when row is four for the entire row, I want to output a hashtag. So we can add a condition here if row is zero or if row equals size minus one, I output a hashtag. I do sign minus one because I started at zero. Now, if you started at one, um, you can compare. Um, the two sides here, you wouldn't have to subtract one. Now, let's, what do we want to output if, if it's not one of, um, if it's not the, if it's, if it's not the row zero or, or the last row? In this case, we just output a space. And then let's run this. I enter four again as, as the example. Oh, I, I had a line break here. I didn't mean to do this. So let's run it again with just a red line. Enter four. So we can see row zero and the last row, row three, um, outputted a hashtag. Now, when else do I want a hashtag? output a hashtag. So I can exactly say where I want to have it, um, if, if row is whatever or column is whatever. In this case, when column is zero, I also want to 
always output it. It doesn't matter what row is. So I can add here to the condition if column is zero, I want to output it. And then if we look at the last line, column has to be in this particular case here, it's five, but it's really the last row, which again is when column is size minus one. And when we run this, um, I get the square. Now, if I run this again, and let's say I pick a different size, size six, there's a square again. So it really, first we generated the square, and then we check based on these values what we want to output. When column is zero or column is size minus one, the last column, um, when row is zero or row is size minus one, or if column is zero or column is size minus one, put on a hashtag. Now, we could use the same pattern outputting anything. Let's say we also wanted to have a diagonal line now, if we want to have a diagonal line, we simply look at the numbers here. When do we want to output something? We want to output it when the column is zero and when the row is zero and column is zero, when row is one and column is one, when row is two and column is two, or when row is three and column is three. So basically, when row matches the column. And if I add this last condition here, when row matches the column and run it again, we should get a diagonal line. So let's use six again. Here we can see now it's a diagonal line. So by drawing this out before and then kind of looking at the numbers, when we want to output something, um, this is kind of how, how, it's, how, how we can easily draw some kind of square with different patterns inside. The first thing is the two nested loops. Once we have this, we can use conditions to kind of manipulate when we want to output a character here, um, like, a, like a hashtag, or when we just want to leave it blank. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.